What's going on everyone? Data Report here for datareport.info with today's pandemic update. We do have two COVID positives to report on today. First, a Zunaid, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Zunaid Ahmed Palak tested positive, who is the Minister of State Information Communication Technology Division in Bangladesh. He has tested positive for COVID. This is the second time catching COVID for him. His first case was on January 5th of 2022 when him and his two sons tested positive. He first tested positive this go around on Monday, February 27th, 2023. He is 42 years old. All right, we also have Savannah Gunthry. Savannah Gunthry tested positive while broadcasting live on the Today Show on Tuesday, February 28th, being today. This is not her first case with COVID. She is 51 years old. I know of at least one other, if not two other, cases of COVID, and I'm going to add that to the thread here. We're gonna, I'm going to uh, do the research later on today, find out how many different cases. Someone was saying there's an article out there that has all of the uh, times she's tested positive. It could be three or four times at this point, but this is not the first time we've seen a case where someone is taken off of live TV. I believe there was an incident where Whoopi Goldberg was taken off of TV after testing positive with COVID. All right, now I bring to you this reminder. This was CAD, which stands for Computer Aided Dispatch. This was CAD in Chester County, PA earlier today. I actually just tweeted it, not realizing it was actually from noontime, but that's okay. It gets the point across. This is a reminder to you that COVID can cause heart problems. In the 12 o'clock hour, they had not one, not two, not three, but four calls for heart problems at the same time. Now, maybe all of them are not because of someone having a COVID infection in the past, but it just goes to show you that, you know, heart issues are on the rise ever since the COVID pandemic has started, and COVID can cause heart problems, and it's another reason why you want to avoid getting infected the best you can. Now moving on to this. This coming from a Twitter user, C. Uh, Starsol, S. Jones, brought this to my attention and I said I would report on this today. A 400 plus resident retirement community in Seattle is reporting 59 cases of COVID as of tw February 28, 2023. The pandemic emergency is not over. She is correct. They are correct. It is not over. And here's my problem with this. I found this out through a Twitter user. This is something that did not get reported in the media. So, as you see, you'll see days where I do the update and there's no reports. Chances are we are missing a lot of, of reports of stuff like this. And if you find anyone that's positive for COVID, if you find a, um outbreak, I love it when you guys send me this information. Uh, just hit me up at... A COVID data report. You can either send me a direct message or comment on one of my tweets, and I will add it in here to the daily report. All right, moving on to the data aspect of today's report. We're not going to take much time on wastewater because we're actually going to do a wastewater correlation video, I think, either this evening or tomorrow morning on the correlation of uh, wastewater in some of the states compared to what Walgreens is showing in those states. We've done something like that before with the variant proportions, but as you can see here, there's a clustering of high uh, transmission in Ohio. Nebraska, that's getting concerning. Utah continues to be concerning in the northern half of the state. Western California, or excuse me, yeah, Western California, coastal, Pacific Coast, like around San Francisco, there's a few high areas there. We're seeing a lot of moderate and high in South Carolina, and we're still seeing these wastewater reports up here in Maine which are high along the western portions of Maine. So that's not good. And moving on here to today's uh, community transmission map, 1,764 counties are in high transmission. Substantial is 777. Moderate is 502. Low is 179 counties. And I should add, we'll probably add this into the correlation video as well to see how this compares to what we're seeing on wastewater to give you a more detailed look at that. Taking a look at today's latest variants, 
which the new update will be out on Friday. XPB 1.5 is 85%. BQ 1.1 is 9.4%. BQ.1 is 2.6%. And XBB is 1.2%, then followed by a bunch of other variants, which are all below 1%. New York State, another not terrible day. Yes, it's over 1,000 today, but only 1,056 new cases added. Test positivity is 3.2% today, which is also the seven-day average. Taking a look at the hospitalizations in New York State, 1,885 people hospitalized, 187 in the ICU. The ICU number has been slowly dropping, and I would like to see that continue, so we'll see what happens. Taking a look at Walgreens here, we'll just go through this quickly because we're going to bring this up more so in the uh, correlation video that I'm going to do. Uh, Maine, 39.7%. That's still up 9.1%. And 30.6% uh, last week. Vermont is at 36.4%. The prior week is 31.3%. Take a look here at Missouri, 30.9%. That's up by 3.1%. Texas is now at 33.9%. That's up by 3.5%. And Washington is at 20.4%. That is down 5%. And their testing is actually equal week over week. And Alaska is at 11.8%. That's down by 5.2%. Prior week was 17%. Taking a look at the latest number out of Texas, we'll get this update tomorrow, but let's just see anyhow. 8,493 cases were reported in the last update, and that's from last week. Hospitalizations are at 1,768. Taking a look at deaths. Yesterday, 110 deaths were reported. I do believe that's higher than the previous Monday, so that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. So we're starting off this week with 110 deaths. The latest hospitalization update is 25,893, so it dropped again. Latest ICU number also dropped again, 3,202. Taking a look here at the cases uh, around the world. Germany is now up 41% on cases. Deaths are up 10%. United States here is saying down 52%. That could be right, but remember, the United States is such an undercount. Taiwan is down 17% on cases, down 15% on deaths. Japan's down 34% on cases. Down 39% on deaths. South Korea is down 12% on cases. Down 19% on deaths. Then we come to this. And I'm actually going to tweet about this right after I do this video. Brazil. Cases are now up 30%. 47,956 this week. The last preceding seven days was 36,782. That's bad. But this is even worse. Weekly death change up 236%. That's a huge rise in deaths. What is going on here? 959 deaths in the last seven days, 285 in the previous seven days. Something is clearly wrong. Then we come down here to Austria. 14% rise in cases, 33% rise in deaths, and... We also have Poland, 42% rise in cases, 15,103 in the last seven days, 10,665 in the previous seven days. Deaths are down 11%. Chile, cases are up 32%. New Zealand's up 11%. Australia's down 33% on cases. That's good. And their deaths are down 58%. And we have Romania up 26% on cases. Siberia or Serbia is up 10% uh, on cases, up 11% on deaths. And now Israel. Yeah, Israel is starting to get a little more concerning. Israel is up 71% on cases, 4,358 for the last seven days, 2,556 for the previous seven days, 34 deaths in the last seven days, 10 in the preceding seven days. That's a 240% increase. But again, that's not as concerning as what we're seeing in Brazil. Brazil really needs to be watched at this point. And we also have Moldova, which is up 112% on cases and up 43% on deaths. And we'll do one last one, Cyprus. Cyprus is up 36% on uh, cases and they're up 100% on deaths. 
Alrighty, that does it for today's pandemic update video. Look for that um, wastewater correlation video either just a little bit later on this evening or first thing tomorrow morning. I'm leading towards this evening, and tomorrow morning will probably be our next weather update where we are going to talk about the severe weather ongoing down south that is expected on Thursday. That's really starting to catch my eye, and it's very well possible that could be moderate risk day for tornadoes. So yeah, look for that tomorrow, and probably look for a wastewater correlation video this evening. Alrighty, thanks for watching this video, and if you find everything I do on my channel helpful, informal, educational to you, maybe it helps keep you safe, whatever it does, hit the like button on the video, and then hit the subscribe button down below. Then if you uh, set up the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Until the next video, stay safe everyone.